If you place some butter in a pan over a fire, what do you think will happen? You will see that the butter will slowly turn into liquid. The heat from the fire will cause a change in the temperature of the butter. The result is the change of the butter in state from solid to liquid. Temperature is the measurement that tells how hot or cold the body or an environment is. Recall a time when you had a fever. Did you not feel warmer then? This was because your body's temperature was higher than it should normally be. In this chapter, you will learn how temperature changes matter from one state to another through the processes of melting, freezing, evaporation, sublimation, and condensation. You will also perform activities that will enable you to observe these changes. What takes place when a solid turns into liquid form? What about when a liquid changes into a solid? Have you ever tried eating ice cream from a cone while you were out in the sun? If you have, then you must know the feeling of having some of the ice cream run down your fingers. Ice cream is a dessert that is made from mixing cream, milk, sugar, sometimes eggs and flavorings like chocolate and fruity bits. The mixture is placed in a freezer, a machine with very low temperatures. After some time, the frozen finished product can be eaten as a treat that is a favorite of both children and adults. It is best eaten on hot days when its cold sweetness can be very refreshing. Yet if you have it while under the hot rays of the sun, you have to eat fast as the ice cream warms up and starts to melt. Melting is a process that some solids undergo that changes them to liquid. The ice cream mixture placed in a freezer becomes a solid from the low temperature of the freezer. When taken out, it will come into contact with the warmer surroundings. Its temperature will increase and this will cause it to melt and turn into liquid form. The same thing will happen to ice cubes taken out of the freezer and placed in a glass of water. The temperature of the warmer water will cause the ice cubes to melt. Melting occurs when matter reaches its melting point or in the temperature at which a solid turns into liquid. This temperature is indicated in the thermometer. A glass tube-like instrument with markings on it that indicate temperature. Temperature readings are usually given in either of two scales, Celsius or Fahrenheit. The Celsius scale is used in most countries while the Fahrenheit scale is used in the United States. The melting point for water is at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. When ice water reaches this temperature, it begins to melt. The melting points for sugar, salt, and other substances are at different temperatures. It is not only the hot temperatures of the sun and the surrounding that can cause some solids to reach their melting points. Other sources of heat like fire and burning coals can do the same. Butter that is placed in a pan over a fire melts because the heat from the fire causes its temperature to increase. Do you enjoy eating melted ice cream? Not very many people do. They would rather put the melted ice cream back into a freezer and eat it later. Why? What happens to the ice cream? When the melted ice cream reaches a certain temperature, it turns into a solid. This temperature is its freezing point. Different substances have different freezing points. Liquid water freezes at 0 degrees Celsius or 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Freezing is the reverse process of melting. It is the change of matter from liquid to solid form. If you put the melted ice cream inside a freezer, you can expect to have the frozen dessert several hours later. Ice cream is more enjoyable when you can bite into it. Freezing is a big help in preserving raw food such as meat, fish, and even fruits and vegetables. The low temperatures keep bacteria from growing into the food thus allowing it to the last for a longer time.